Hello chaps, Wolfcore here, and welcome back to Fallout 4, one quest at a time. So, uh, what are we doing in today's episode? Well, I wanted to start by showing you what I've been working on in Sanctuary. And you can kind of see that a little bit behind me here, but let's go run through it real quick. So I have this idea to build this big old tree fort thing. And this is just a very, very rough layout of my plans thus far. Um, I intend to do another level on top of this. And I'd like to have these uh, these big windmill things sort of ringing around this layer, maybe a dozen of them or so. And there's just going to be lots of cords and, and lights all over the place and defenses. It's going to be it's going to be ridiculous and over the top, but it's going to be a really fun, cool project. I set up some uh, some better water pumps since we got some more copper down there. You can't really see them very well in the mist. And I was running some power pylons this way, but I ran out of copper, so those are just going to be inactive for the moment. Not a big deal. I mean, I could move my little generator, but eh, what the hell, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just go ahead and do that. Um, is it actually... Ah, that's going to mess up my lights. Never mind, we're not going to do that. So, what else have we done... I finished clearing out all, every last little piece of junk that I could find around Sanctuary. I uh, left a few little things like this table over here just because I thought it looked nice. Hey, what's up, Sturgis? You need a job. Is all my food getting harvested? Alright, cool, man. You just keep chilling. You just keep on chilling. Uh, did you guys see, uh, see Dog Meat's little little house yet pretty cute I keep having to pick up his ball and bringing it up back over for him because he likes to kick it away uh, other than that other than that I think that's all that's happened in sanctuary and I did actually discover something cool last night uh, you can actually equip dog um, as your follower without messing up your lone wanderer perk so let's go over to our perks page real quick. So this one right here that we were talking about early on, the Lone Wanderer, you can have Dog with you and not uh, not have to worry about losing this bonus. Also, you can actually equip him with gear. Um, I need to get him some little goggles and a headband. And that's just going to be adorable. But I think I'm going to try, uh, try taking Dog Meat with us and just adjusting my play style to having him around. And, you know, if he gets in the way too much, we can always just send him back to town. Uh, let's see if we have any gear that we can give to him. I want a bandana and some goggles. Those are weapons. Let's go to apparel. All right. We got a bandana right there. And welding goggles. All right. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. So we're going to go to trade. Swap some things around, dog meat. And go over to apparel. Let's give him the bandana and these welding goggles. And then, is there like an equip button? Yes. Equip and equip. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Turn around, turn around. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I need to get him a, a, red, a red bandana to match his ball in his house, but... This gunner's one will, will work just fine Boy. for now. And I want him to to come with me. It's time to go. Oh, I also found out that he can actually carry a lot of shit, so that's really useful, you know, when you're like three quarters of the way done clearing a zone and you run out of carry weight, you can just give him all like your guns or all your armor or something and keep on uh keep on looting more. So that's really, really great. I I'm glad to have a reason to bring dog with us. Uh, other than that, other than that, I put one point into Blitz off camera. I think I leveled up at the end of an episode, or I leveled up by doing stuff in town. So I put one point into Blitz, so uh, Vat's melee distance is increased even more, and the... Oh, that's for rank one. Uh, this is what we got. Find the gap and make the tackle. Vat's melee distance is increased significantly. So, uh, using melee in Vat's is going to be a lot 
better now. And I was able to level up again by doing all this crafting in town. So we have one more point. I'm thinking big leagues or maybe, you know what? Let's go for locksmith because we actually have a couple of safes in town that require advanced lock picking. So let's go get those because why not? Uh, the root cellar had a safe in it. Back to the root cellar. And we should be able to pick this now. Excellent. Let's try to the right. Perfect. Sweet. Easy stuff. Ooh, 10 mils. And shotgun shells. Fantastic. That was a good safe. Exactly what we needed. And I did find one other safe in town while I was clearing everything out. I don't remember which house it was, so let's. I'm going to go find that. Well, I could not find that other safe. I could have sworn that one of these houses had a floor safe in it, but maybe maybe I was able to open that one and I just totally spaced because I checked. I went in a big circle. I checked every stinking house twice, but at least now I'm confident we got everything, which is a good feeling. Uh, so for today's quest, we are going to be doing Story of the Century. I've never done this quest before. Uh, I'm guessing it's a pretty long one. But we're going to be doing at least the first part of it. So we need to go to Diamond City and go talk to Piper. So here we are in Diamond City. Let's go say hi to Piper. Her office is right next door to her, her printing press. That makes sense. Oh, sneaky. Sneaky girl. Hey, Piper. Holding up, Blue? Blue? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing? <laughs> you're a vault teller. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. You watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Um, I mean, I don't really want another companion, but you can hang out in Sanctuary. Fuck it, let's just do it. Uh... Do the interview, right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So oh. I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Cold. My family and I. <laughs> I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge the whole time. Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes, indeed. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? That's pretty shitty, to be honest. Some motherfucker blew off another motherfucker's head the other day. It was insane. <laughs> it sucks. Shacks killing each other. My god, the smell. Okay. Well, that's gonna be a fun one to quote. <laughs> Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The Ooh. threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Uh, they're gone. Move on with your life. Um, actually, no. Get revenge. Responsible and make them pay. Simple as that. I'll take anger over apathy any day. Good quote. Thanks, Blue. Thanks, Red. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. I'm gonna be famous. Oh, well, I guess, uh, I guess that's our quest for the day. Piper. <laughs> Heading my way? Um, let's go? Sure, let's go. Will do. No. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. Fuck that. 
No, I won't cancel this. Ugh. I don't want her. I want my dog. Shit, really, that's it? Well, I really thought there was going to be more to this quest than that. Uh, I'm going to go grab dog and drop off red. And then let's just go kill some stuff for a bit. Let's just go explore the wasteland. Since uh, this episode's going to be a little on the short side if we don't do anything else. Alright, I'll be right back. I think we ought to go our separate ways. Sure thing. I'll head home. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Alrighty, chaps. Into the wastelands to presumably kill something. I, uh, grabbed this pipe pistol out of storage. It was the best one I had. And the only reason I'm using it is because it utilizes the uh, 38 rounds. Hello? Are you a nice one? Nope. Nope, you're not. Nope, you are not. Uh, it utilizes uh, 38 rounds, which I have in spades. Stay away. So we're just going to be using this for a little while, just to uh, just to get through some other forms of ammo and let our our 10 mil and our shotgun shells build back up. Are you nice? Should I kill it? Hmm. What? Huh. <laughs> cool. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I want your loot. Uh, military grade circuit board and some steel. I don't want some little iBot floating around sanctuary letting people know. Letting people know that we're building a settlement over here. Who knows who it's going to report back to? I don't trust the robots. What do we have here? Get in the water. A gourd and some beer. And what is this? Bloodleaf. Probably good for something. Might as well pick up a few. What's this? Circuit breaker lid. Oh. So that looks like some sort of water pump, perhaps. And there's a pipe running this way. We turned it off. Let's follow the pipe. Oh, shit. What's this? Open. Ooh, caps. Oh, we got some 44 rounds and a stub nose 44. Very cool. Some bobby pins, a little extra food. Radex. Right away. Purified water. What's that? More Radaway. Right hey, that's great. This is a great little find. Sanctuary is just right over there. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, so I was thinking, let's head over to that radar dish. All right. So I saw this uh, this crashed airplane-looking thing. So let's check this out. I bet there's something good in here. If I can get a sneak attack on one of these rad stags with blitz, that'd be great. Oh, I think we're going to be able to do it. Oh, shut up, dude. It's not the button I meant to hit. Oh, that's some power armor in, from, in front of us. So you can see the increased range of uh, blitz right here. So we're going to do two attacks and go for a crit. Boosh! Master Hunter. Oh, hello. One. Two. Sweet. And dog to finish it up. 
Uh, I always feel bad killing these things, but the hide gives you leather, and they give you meat, and all sorts of good stuff. So they are worth, uh, worth hunting. Power armor, sweet. What's this? What's this? Right. Uh, I think we're going to save that radar building for another episode. This was a good enough find for me. Get one more rad stag. Get him, dog. Get him, dog. Hey, now it only has one head. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking weird. It's got, like, little-ass legs growing out the front of its neck. And then a second head right there. Ugh. Ugh. Mutations freak me out. Anything in here? Oh, this is pretty sweet. Oh, I want that. I want that. Nope, can't have it. That looks like we have a little chest over here. Moltov, right away, and a telephone. Blooming fungus. What is it, boy? Did you hear something? Ooh, bloat flies. Let's go get him. Nope, not close enough. There we go. And you can see a cool use of the VAT system right here. You can queue up multiple enemies. And then go. One. And two. I fucking love that. It's such a cool system, once you get used to it. No loot for me? Did I did I explode them too much? Alright, I guess we're not gonna be looting those, that's fine. Ah, but most importantly, we got another set of power armor. Very cool. Very, very cool. Does need a power core. Alright, let's go drop this off in Sanctuary. You can see our little power armor collection over here starting to grow. Let's put this one on the other side. How cool is that? I cannot wait to see what what our collection's going to look like at the very end of this series. There are going to be 20, 30, who the hell knows. I might have them lining the edge of the tree fort or something. That would be awesome. But, um... I think that's going to do it for today, guys. That quest turned out to be a lot easier than I wanted, but... Uh, we did some other stuff. Hey, shut the fuck up, Piper. I'm trying to do my outro. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. If you enjoy my videos, I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.